So in the last video, what we looked at was how you can use the Text Analytics API in C Sharp to perform entity extraction in a given body of text. And in this video, what we look at is how you can use the Text Analytics API again to perform a key phrase extraction in stream streams of text. Um, before we do that, th this is quite a, a, a common task that you developers often have to perform. Certainly from my own experience, one of the issues that I had in the past was I had to pass out a lot of Twitter data and social media data. And what I found was that there were like lots of noise and trying to find signal in the noise was, was pretty difficult. Uh, there's lots of noise words or stop words as they're called, such as and, to, and the. And uh, trying to get at the, the key words or the stronger signal in words can be difficult. But with uh, the Text Analytics API, there's a method in there that, that makes that uh, identification of key phrases and words pretty straightforward. So if you look over to the right hand side here, we've got the, the project that we've been working with. And if we double click on this, it's our trusty console application. Uh, we don't need to go through the credential stuff because we covered that in an earlier video. If you haven't checked that out, start from the beginning, please. Uh, if we go scroll a little bit down, we see we've got the main entry point for the method and we have some text here. And it's the same text that was in the earlier videos. Lots of new great technology unveiled at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando. And we have a method here called process key phrases. We're just passing in the document ID and then the same body of text. If you look a little bit closer into the content of this method, we've got uh, an instance of the text analytics client. Again, we pass in our Azure region a text analytics key. If you haven't seen the earlier videos, what you have to do is uh, create or provision the service in Azure and you can get started for free. Uh, when you do that, you will be given a, a region and a private access key that shouldn't be shared with anybody. So you take those and you copy and paste those in here. I've got them in a private variable uh, further up in the class definition for this file. So after that, what we do is, is we make a call using the client and we call the method key phrases. We can see there's a couple of overloads in here. I'm just using the base one, which accepts a string parameter, which is the text that we want to process. And then we get a key phrase result back. Uh, that then is used further on down here and we just look through each of the key phrases that have been identified in the text that we pass in. So if we scroll down a little bit here, we'll put a breakpoint or we've got one here and we'll just run this application. And what we should see is, is the text analytics API will pick out some of the key phrases in here, like such as like Microsoft or, or Lando. Uh, it, may, it may pick out technology. So let's give that a try. So if we go over to the console application here, and we can see that it's run successfully, and we've got our document ID, we've got the key phrases, Microsoft, great new technology in Orlando. If we just move this a little bit further down here, and we'll and compare the data that the analytics API has brought back against what was passed in. So you can see what it's done is it's, it's removed a lot of the noise words or the stop words that we spoke about earlier, such as lots of um, uh, unveiled and at. Uh, and these are words that you're probably not really interested in reporting over. Like the stronger signaling words are the location, the, the Microsoft is a brand, and then the stuff that's being discussed, which is great new technology. So that was a quick run through of how you can you can use that API to perform key phrase identification. Some of the other use cases for this are, you know, if you're processing uh, documents at scale and you want to surface, you know, some of the stronger topics or keywords that are being mentioned in those documents and report over them, this would be a great uh, API to, to implement in that particular use case. Uh, we touched on it earlier on, social media is another great candidate for this, integrating this API with some of the social media APIs and then using that to surface additional insights in terms of what's being discussed or some of the topics. Your uh, your business uh, CRM is another great candidate uh, where you've got freeform text uh, or, or text fields in a web application. It can be difficult to report over that content. Uh, again, you could point this API, your freeform text fields in your database and surface some of the most commonly used keywords or key phrases. So that was an, an, a, a, an overview of the Text Analytics API and how you can use it to perform key phrase extraction.